February, the elders brought to the congregation the thought that moving forward to establishing our third site. Our response was that there are five key areas we needed to make sure were in place as we move forward. The first was stability and leadership, in particular the elders. I'm glad to say that we doubled the number of elders and beginning this June, women will be joining the elders team. Raising and mentoring leaders is always a concern. This year we established several discipleship groups. We have now got the PACE program with Alberta Bible College. You can be trained and earn a degree or a diploma right here in the church. There's the ongoing kids service. We're getting those young guys starting serving soon, as well as what we already had established with junior leaders in youth group, camp, heroes academy. There were space issues in the Mission Heights children's ministry area. We explored several things, renovations, an alternative worship service, but in the end, we're able to solve the problem by reconfiguring classes, but we have plans as Mission Heights continues to grow. Finances is always something we need to be mindful of, and we had a deficit last February. I'm pleased to say that in 2015, we repaid the deficit, repaid the money that were drawn down from our reserve funds, and ended the year in the black. Additionally, as we look at 2016, we've reduced our budget by $180,000 in preparation for the tough and economic times we're in. And I want to remind you that we have $284,000 set aside for the third site establishment and for emergencies that may arise. The final concern was ensuring that we were creative in our moving forward and our use of our present facilities and that we maintain our culture of care for each other care for the world and a benevolent attitude. These will be top priorities as we move forward towards the third site. Five concerns, five great steps forward as we move towards establishing our third site.